The world of drones is moving faster than ever before, and once again, DJI is ready to prove why it remains the industry leader. With the DJI EO2, the company seems to be preparing a leap forward in compact drone innovation. This isn't just a rumor anymore, leaks, prototypes, and early test footage all point toward a next-generation pocket drone that aims to combine portability with advanced flight capabilities. And today, we're going to break it all down, everything we know so far about the DJI EO2, including its specs, design changes, price expectations, and why this little machine could become one of DJI's smartest releases yet. Now that the buzz around the DJI Mini 5 Pro has started to settle, all eyes are shifting to the next small but mighty drone in DJI's lineup. Based on everything that's surfaced so far, the Neo 2 isn't just a quick refresh, it's a carefully crafted update built on real-world feedback from users of the first generation. DJI seems to have listened this time, and what's coming looks genuinely impressive. Let's rewind for a moment and remember where it all began. The original DJI Neo, launched in late 2024, was designed for simplicity, fun, and accessibility. It wasn't made to compete with flagship drones like the Mavic 3 or the Air series, it was about giving anyone the ability to fly effortlessly and capture amazing moments on the go. The Neo was small enough to fit in your pocket, affordable enough to attract beginners, and reliable enough to impress even seasoned pilots who wanted a quick, easy-to-fly drone for casual flights. But as with any first-generation product, there were limitations, short battery life, noticeable propeller noise, and limited stability in low-light environments. The camera, while decent, wasn't quite ready to handle darker scenes or cinematic content. And that's exactly where DJI seems to have focused most of its attention for the Neo 2. The New Design Philosophy From early leaks, it's clear that DJI has refined the physical design of the Neo 2 while keeping its ultra-compact identity intact. Images from test environments show a slightly larger front housing, possibly to accommodate new sensors or advanced stabilization components. Insiders claim that DJI engineers have reworked the structure to balance the drone better in windy conditions while keeping it under the lightweight classification that avoids extra regulations. Some reports indicate that the NEO2 will feature a subtle top-mounted bump, not a flaw, but an intelligent design adjustment that likely houses a 3D infrared obstacle detection system. This system would give the NEO2 much better awareness of its surroundings, preventing collisions and helping it maintain precise positioning even indoors or in low-visibility scenarios. It's the kind of upgrade that turns a simple mini-drone into a truly smart flying camera. One fascinating clue came from a label leak, something that appears on the actual hardware sticker attached to early prototypes. It mentioned a Class 1 laser component, which, by international safety standards, is safe for human eyes and used for measuring distances. This suggests that DJI could be integrating a more advanced LiDAR-style sensor to improve altitude measurement, object detection, and auto-landing accuracy. A new level of flight performance. Battery life has always been the Achilles heel of compact drones, but the NEO2 might finally change that. The first NEO offered around 18 minutes of theoretical flight time, but the updated label hints at a larger 1,606 mAh battery, rated at 11.5 watts, roughly a 9.5% capacity boost. While that doesn't sound massive on paper, the improvements in efficiency, especially with DJI's next-gen motor control systems, could extend total flight time closer to 21 or even 23 minutes in real conditions. That's nearly a 5-minute improvement, which is huge when you're flying something so small. DJI's advances in power management, particularly those demonstrated with the Mini 5 Pro, show that the company knows how to squeeze every bit of performance from its batteries. Even if the weight of the NEO2 increases slightly, it's likely optimized for balance and endurance. Early estimates suggest that the total weight could rise to around 180 grams, up from the 135 grams of the first version. That extra mass isn't a drawback, it actually helps stabilize the drone in windy conditions, allowing it to resist gusts up to level 5. In essence, the NEO2 could fly smoother, steadier, and longer, even in less than perfect weather. 
the camera that changes the game. One of the most anticipated upgrades is the camera. The first generation Neo struggled a bit when the sun went down. It used a half-inch sensor with 12 megapixels, capable of 4K recording at 30 frames per second. That was fine for quick social clips, but it couldn't hold up in darker environments. DJI knows this, and that's why the NEO 2 is expected to feature a larger 1-1.3-inch sensor, similar to what's found on the DJI Flip. This would bump the resolution up to 48 megapixels, with support for 4K at 60 frames per second and a recording bitrate around 150 megabytes per second. That's double the throughput of the first Neo, meaning sharper, more dynamic footage, especially for creators who love to edit and color grade their videos. The gimbal design is also expected to stay minimalistic, most likely a single-axis hybrid system, using digital stabilization to handle tilt and shake. By avoiding a full mechanical gimbal, DJI keeps the weight low while delivering smooth and cinematic footage through advanced electronic correction algorithms. It's a clever balance of engineering and software optimization, something DJI has mastered over years of drone evolution. Intelligent Flight Features and Sensors Another major complaint from Neo One users was instability during indoor or night flights. Without proper visual positioning, the drone often drifted or lost its fixed point when light was low. The NEO 2 could fix that with a new optical flow sensor setup combined with infrared depth scanning and potentially even a downward-facing LED for improved ground detection in dark spaces. This enhancement could make the NEO 2 far more reliable for indoor videography, content creation, and vertical video shooting, which is perfect for TikTok, Reels, or Shorts. DJI might also tweak the propeller design to reduce that signature high-pitched whine the first version produced. Leaks mention redesigned blades with a slightly different curvature, the kind you might see on larger drones like the Phantom series. More blades mean less noise and smoother thrust, making it quieter and more pleasant to fly around people or animals. Transmission and Connectivity In terms of connectivity, the NEO2 will likely continue using OcuSync 4, DJI's current best-in-class transmission system. Even though it's technically overkill for such a small drone, the stability and range it provides are unbeatable. Users can expect clean, interference-free video feeds and a stronger connection even in urban environments. Combined with better battery management, the NEO2's operational range could expand noticeably, allowing pilots to explore farther without worrying about signal drops. And of course, compatibility will remain a huge plus. The NEO2 should work seamlessly with DJI's existing FPV accessories, including the DJI FPV Controller 3, RC Motion 3, and even the DJI Goggles 3 and Goggles N3. That's a big deal because it lets current DJI users integrate this little drone into their existing ecosystem without buying new hardware. Balancing Fun and Professionalism While DJI is definitely adding more intelligence and performance, the NEO2 still aims to stay fun and approachable. Expect it to retain all the smart flight modes that made the first version a success, gesture-based selfies, voice control, and easy one-button cinematic movements like Orbit, Drony, and Rocket. But the difference this time lies in refinement. Everything, from startup calibration to app connectivity, will feel smoother, faster, and more polished. The DJI Fly app could also receive a minor update to better support short-form vertical video content, something DJI has been pushing lately for creators who post on social media. Price and release date. Now, the question everyone's asking, how much will it cost, and when can we expect it? While DJI hasn't made an official announcement yet, credible insiders suggest that the standalone NEO2, the drone without the controller, could retail for around $230, while the Fly More combo, including the RCN3 controller and extra accessories, might cost approximately $330 to $350. As for the launch date, Sources hint that the mid-November 2025 window looks likely. Considering DJI's release cycles and recent teaser strategies, an official event could happen in early November, with shipments starting shortly after. 
If that's true, we're only weeks away from seeing this little powerhouse in action. Why the NEO2 matters? What makes the DJ NEO2 so exciting isn't just the specs, it's the timing. DJI is entering a phase where people want compact, intelligent devices that deliver professional results without complexity. With the Mini 5 Pro already serving enthusiasts, the Neo 2 could dominate the beginner and travel-friendly market. It's small enough for casual use yet powerful enough for semi-pro footage. For vloggers, travelers, or even tech reviewers, it's a drone that can be tossed in a backpack and flown anywhere, without permits, without setup stress, and without compromising quality. That's a rare combination.